before watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us hello student welcome to official youtube channel of entries india's number one app for preparation of various competitive exams like banking railways ssc and other state pcs examinations student myself rahul mishra and i am your reasoning educator and i have cracked ibps po rrb po ssc cgl and rrb ntpc so today we are going to discuss how to solve linear single row sitting arrangement and score 5 marks in 3 minute see student this question is very very important for you because in this video i have taken the most important question of linear base sitting arrangement which used to come in every single pre examinations okay so i hope you will like the video and you will learn something new in my video okay so let's start the video and see how to solve these type of questions quickly okay okay students so before starting today's video we will discuss the previous videos homework question okay this question is from floor based puzzle and this was the homework so let's start and there are seven person a b c d e f and g are living in seven floors of a building on different floors from top to bottom such as ground floor is number 1 and top floor is number 7 but not necessarily in the same order okay so what we have to do in floor based puzzle we have to fix the floors like this from top to bottom okay in descending order and we have to make the table and start solving the puzzle this we have to do before solving any kind of floor based puzzle and this question is from rrb clerk 2019 pre okay so this is very important okay so let's start a lives on this second floor c student this line gives us confirm information regarding a so we can put a's position in our puzzle that is we know that a lives on the second floor okay now second line e lives immediately above f so just above f e is living but where in our puzzle we don't know the confirm place of any one of them so we will make its footnote so our hint number 1 is just above f e is living okay now next line b lives above f so second hint will be b should live above f c student above means anywhere above okay or it can be immediately above both cases are possible and it's totally depend upon the puzzle when we solve we will come to know that it can be immediately above also or it can be anywhere above but b should be above f only okay a lives immediately above d and immediately below g so a lives just above d so d must be living on first floor and a lives immediately below g so g must be lives on third floor okay and there are four person lives between d and c see we know the confirm place of d so we can plot c also and there are four person between them so 1 2 3 and 4 c will come here okay and we know that e lives just above f for e and f we needs two floors empty consecutively so where are two floors empty on 5 and 4 only so e will come on fifth floor and f on fourth floor this hint we have used now above f b is living so b must be living on seventh floor okay student this puzzle was very basic and this we have solved this question can be solved in examination in 2 minutes only okay so let's solve its questions okay so question number 1 who among the following lives on the ground floor so on the ground floor d is living okay so option number b who among the following lives immediately below b so just below b c is living so option number c how many persons lives between d and b between d and b there are 1 2 3 4 5 persons are living so option number c who among the following lives on the top floor so on the top floor b is living so b is not there so we will mark none of these which of the following combination is false okay it is asking us which combination is false so we have to check the options and mark our answer floor 2 a it is true floor 7 b it is true floor 5 c it is false because on floor 6 c is living next option is option number d floor 3 g floor 3 is g this is also correct so correct answer of this question is option number c okay student these were the questions 
सो लेट्स मूव टू अवर मेन पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो ओके स्टूडेंट लेट्स स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम वन टू फाइव एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम एस बी आई क्लर्क प्री टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन ओके एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस पजल इज लीनियर सिंगल रो सिटिंग अरेंजमेंट क्वेश्चन ओके सो द क्वेश्चन इज सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ पर्सन आर सिटिंग इन अ रो फेसिंग नॉर्थ ओके सो दिस इज रो बेस क्वेश्चन एंड द टाइप इज वेन सर्टेन नंबर ऑफ पर्सन यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट मीन्स दैट हाउ मेनी पर्सन आर सिटिंग इन दिस रो यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई दैट सो हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस सो द ट्रिक ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज सी यू डोंट नो हाउ मेनी पर्सन आर सिटिंग इन दिस रो सो वट यू हैव टू डू जस्ट ड्रॉ लाइन लाइक दिस ओके एंड ऑल द पर्सन आर फेसिंग नॉर्थ which means that this side will be left side and this side will be right side okay that we all know now in traditional question there is always number of person specified in that question okay there can be six persons eight persons 10 person and so on so what we used to do in these type of questions where number of persons is given to you always just draw a line and plot the number of seats equal to the number of person given let's say you have seven person so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 seats we have to plot but in this type of question we don't know the number of person so we will not plot the seat see this is a trick to solve these type of questions quickly in your examination okay so let's start the question then okay students so our question start from here m sits fourth to the right of s c we don't know the confirmed place of m and s and also we don't know that how many person are sitting in this row so to retain this information what we will do we will make its footnote so our hint number 1 is from s m is fourth right okay five person sits between m and x c we don't know the confirmed place of m so we cannot plot x also so what we will do we will make its footnote again so our second point is there are Five person between M and X, okay. But it is not sure that M right side will be X, okay. It can be also that M left side can be X. Both the cases are possible because we don't know the confirmed place of M, okay. T sits at one of the position left of S, okay. From S, T is anywhere, but it should be on the left side, okay. The number of person sits between M and U are same as the number of person sits between S and T. Okay, so the number of person sits between M and U is same as the number of person sits between S and T. This is given to us. So this lines means that if between M and U there are three person, then same number of person will be there between S and T. There will be also be three persons. Here it can be four. So here also it can be four. Similarly, five, six, and so on. Okay, it can be zero also. Similarly, it can be zero also. Okay. Now, Q sits second from one of the extreme end. One of the extreme end means it can be from the left end also and from the right end also. But it is not confirmed. Okay. So just make its footnote again because it will give us more possibility. So Q is second from. left hand also and right hand also okay now four person sits between s and u okay again we cannot plot this so there are four person between s and u so u can be here also and s can be here also it is not confirmed okay so no one sits to the right of n who is immediate right of p c student this who represent always immediate person attached to it so with who the person attached to it is n so n is an immediate right of p and this line in this entire puzzle is very very important from this line we get one confirmed place that is n okay so i can plot n and start solving my puzzle i know that no one sits to the right of n it means that n should be on the right end only because n right side there is no seats so who is immediate right of p so n is immediate right of p okay so p will come just left of n okay immediate right of p is n so this is fixed now okay now next line x is third left of p i can put this one also because i know the confirmed place of p so p left side is this so 1 2 and 
एक्स विल कम हि ओके नॉट मोर देन टू पर्सन सिट्स बिटवीन क्यू एंड यू ओके सो अवर लास्ट सेंटेंस बिटवीन क्यू एंड यू देर आर नॉट मोर देन टू पर्सन ओके नाउ आई कैन स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग माई पर्सन नाउ जस्ट चेक हिंट रिलेटेड टू एक्स हिंट रिलेटेड टू एक्स इज दिस वन सेकेंड हिंट बिटवीन एक्स एंड एम देर आर फाइव पर्सन सो आई कैन प्लॉट दिस वन ऑल्सो वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव देर आर फाइव पर्सन then m will come here okay this hint we have used now hint related to m is this one as fourth right is m okay so 1 2 3 4 from s m is fourth right just count 1 2 3 and 4 okay so m is fourth right from s this also we have used okay so now hint related to m and s we have to check i can see for m and s this is the hint also but we don't know the number of person between m and u so we cannot use this hint and s left side is t we cannot use this hint also now check the hint number 6 from hint number 6 we can plot the place of u okay because we know that there are four person sitting between u and s so just count 1 2 3 4 you cannot be on the right side of s okay so you will be on the left side of s 1 2 3 4 and you okay 1 2 3 4 there are four person sitting between s and u this hint we have also used now we know that between m and u there are same number of person between s and t so just count the number of person between m and u 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 eight person are sitting between m and u so eight number of person should also sit between s and t okay and we know that from s t is on the left side so t will go on the left side of s and there are eight persons okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and then this one must be t because there are eight persons sitting between m and u and that should be equal between s and t as well so just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay and between m and u 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so this hint we have used this one also okay now we have left two hint and that is fifth and seventh and we know that q is second from any of the end it can be from the left end also and from right end also but from the right end q cannot come because p is sitting at second place okay so q cannot come here so q will come on second left hand okay so q will come here this hint we have also covered now this one is left last one between q and u there should not be more than two person so just verify between q and u there are only two person so this hint also we have verified and covered now this is our complete puzzle solved now let's move to question okay so question number 1 how many person are sitting in this row so count the number of lines that we have ascertained by solving the puzzle 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 and 24 so correct answer is option number c that is 24 person are sitting in the row how many person are sitting between s and t so between s and t there are eight persons we have already counted that so just count again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay e option what is the position of u from the left hand okay from this side it is asking us the position of u so 1 2 3 4 5 5 fifth option number b now question 4 how many person are sitting between q and m okay so between q and m there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 eleven persons option number b okay question number 5 which of the following represent the person sitting at extreme end okay so it can be either n or t just check the option only t is there so option number e is correct okay student i hope you like this trick so let's give you the homework questions okay student so based on the today's video trick this is your homework question i need answers on the comment section these are the three questions which you need to solve and give me the answers okay student and answer of this question will be discussed in my next video okay see student this question is very important for your upcoming examination because same type of question has already appeared in your previous years paper okay 
सो आई होप यू ऑल विल पार्टिसिपेट एंड गिव मी द करेक्ट आंसर्स ओके ओके स्टूडेंट फॉर प्रैक्टिस दीज टाइप ऑफ पजल्स क्वेश्चन यू नीड टू डाउनलोड अवर एंट्री ऐप द लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स वैन यू डाउनलोड इट इट विल आस्क यू द लॉग इन डिटेल वैन यू फिल द लॉग इन डिटेल यू विल गेट द इंटरफेस लाइक दिस ऑन अवर एंट्री ऐप यू विल नॉट ओनली गेट द रीजनिंग सेक्शन क्विजेस बट ऑल्सो different subject quizzes which are relevant for your exam such as quantitative aptitude english and general awareness all these quizzes are being updated regularly if you want to practice what you have to do you have to go in the practice section where you will get interface like this okay you can click on the exam which you are preparing after clicking on this you will get your free mock test okay so let's suppose you have clicked on sbi clerk 2020 okay after clicking it you will see the interface like this our app will ask you are you preparing for sbi clerk 2020 then simply click on yes okay then you will see the number of courses related to sbi clerk 2020 you can attempt any of these course related to sbi clerk 2020 okay let us suppose you have clicked on model exam if you clicked on model exam you will see the window like this or interface like this okay in model exam section you will see the number of mocks okay you can attempt any of this mock because it is available free on our app okay let's suppose you clicked on mock 18 okay after clicking it you will get interface like this where it will show you the number of questions in that mock and total time allotted to it and the total number of marks okay after attempting it you will see the interface like this where you can see the number of questions correct by you and the wrong done by you and total number of question which is unanswered okay after this you will see this analytic window okay this is very important because by seeing this only you will be able to analyze your weak areas and work on it okay student if you like my tricks given in this video you can purchase our premium classes which is available only on the entry app where i have taken various chapters like inequalities puzzles and so on by purchasing our premium classes you will not be able to improve your weak areas but also your marks in examination will also gets improved okay student if you are new to our channel do not forget to subscribe it okay if you like our video just give a thumbs up do not forget to comment and do share our video to your friends and other those who are preparing so that they can also avail the benefit provided by the entry okay see you in the next video student till then take care bye bye